What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI. I have another HP Pro 3405. This is the micro tower and the video, this video is going to show you guys how to uh, upgrade the processor and a CMOS battery and show you how to do that. So you're going to move the side cover panel and there's going to be a thumb screw right there and you're going to slide it down like this and what we're going to do is we're going to use a Torx. You will need a Torx T15 screwdriver and we're gonna remove the four screws here from the heatsink fan from the processor it's APU and what you have to do is uh, you're gonna use a Torx T15 screwdriver and get it unscrewed because I'm gonna be upgrading the processor And the separate, you guys can watch the separate video. I'm gonna be uploading the teardown and uh, upgraded for the gaming, for the video card and uh, memory, power supply, and uh, from hard drive to solster drive. It's gonna be a separate video. You guys can see on my channel for this 30, 3405. So I'm gonna move the screws now. You're gonna remove the heat sink and you're gonna disconnect the four pin right here, the wire, and connect to the motherboard. Get that disconnected. And you're gonna remove the processor. It's right here, it's got a little clip right here, it's a socket FM1, so you press on the clip right here and release the processor, it comes right out just like that, it's a socket FM1. And I'm going to be upgrading guys uh, to A6 processor 3620, it's a quad core right there. So I'm going to install the processor, the way you install the processor, you see the gold corner right there? Camera can focus. Uh, the gold corner is going to be going over here like this. Here in the top, right here, the left bottom corner. It would be the same way you you remove it. It's going to be going like this. Can you see? And the gold corner with the processor, the APU you install right there. It's going to be right there. Right here, can you see? This is where the gold corner goes right there. So that's how we're going to install it. Process the APU. Install it, clip it back in. Now, what we have to do is we have to use a we have to, to right, remove the old thermal compound out, uh, from here and show you guys how to do that. So, what you guys need is uh, is use like a debit card, something like this, to remove the ter old thermal compound. And let me get a piece of I'm gonna get a piece of paper. And when I do that is we have to, I'm going to use a bag here, like this, and I have to take out the old thermal compound. So to do that is you got to take a credit, like a debit card like this, and just remove it and come right out really easy. And I'm going to be using 70% uh, rubbing alcohol to remove it, the rest of the thermal compound in here, because this one's really dry. The reason why I put this paper here, and because uh, you don't want thermal compound going to the motherboard, just like that. And I'm going to use this, uh, I'll show you guys, what you need is... Uh, you can use Inspiral alcohol, 70% will work perfect. That's what you need right there to remove the old thermal compound. And what I did was I put in a little spray bottle right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it down and use a clean paper towel. So, so what I'm going to do is just spray it down like this. And just use a paper towel, clean it off. I'm going to spray it more. And just remove the old thermal compound. Yeah, that's good enough. And 
And what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to reapply the new thermal compound before we install the heatsink back. So remove this right here. And what we need is uh, we get the thermal compound, and you can still reuse the credit card, debit card. Like this, we're going to spread it evenly, so I'll show you guys how to do that. So here's the heat sink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply thermal compound right in the middle right here. That's good enough. Now what you need is take a, you're going to take the debit card like this, credit card, whatever you have, and just spread it evenly. Yeah, you don't want to put too much on it, or you could just put it in the processor instead of on the heat sink, but it's going to be a lot harder. That's like that, perfectly fine. So that's good enough. And you're going to install back, so what you're going to do is you connect this right here, the 4-pin wire, back to the motherboard connector. And install the heat sink fan for the processor. And now we're going to install, install the screws back. And there'll be, there'll be four screws, two in the top and two in the bottom. And you're going to screw it back on. Make sure they're not loose. Okay, they're tight. Now, to be the last part, guys, is uh, CMOS battery right here we're going to replace. Yeah, this, is, uh, this, uh, this machine is actually in 2012, so it's five years old. So I'm going to replace the battery so I don't have to do that later. So to do that... What you guys need is a flathead screwdriver. Okay, where's the screwdriver? Okay, so what you need is this flathead screwdriver. And, and what you're gonna do, there's a clip right here. And you're gonna press on the clip and you can zoom on the camera. So there's a, right here, the CMOS bed is a little clip right here on the right side. So what you do, you take a screwdriver and your CMOS battery will come right out. Just like that, really easy. And I'm gonna be installing the newer one. Here's the older one. The older bag, CMOS battery right there. And I'm gonna install the newer one right there. And we're done. So I'm gonna move the processor and the battery. CMOS battery, and we're done. To just put the side cover back on. And the uh, processor in here I installed, guys, is an AMD A6 at 3620, it's a quad core. And just put the side cover back on and we're done. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.